What's up everybody, Typical Gaming here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more, and today I have a little more than 20 minutes of GTA Online gameplay, straight from the beginning, which includes the character creation menu, an introduction into the GTA Online storyline, a race, and a mission, as well as some clothing options too. As always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to press that like button and subscribe for more daily, top-notch GTA 5 videos. So just a quick run through of a couple of things I want to talk about this gameplay and everything like that. So there are two slots to create your GTA Online character and those characters have the driving, shooting, flying, stealth, stamina abilities and then it shows you which hardware you have access to like planes, helicopters, boats and cars. So with that you get to create your character and to create your character you have to choose your mother and father as well as your grandparents on both sides. You can also choose the special characters by pressing Y on Xbox 360 or triangle on PlayStation. 3 and that includes people like Misty, Claude, Nico, and John Marston even. That's pretty cool. Anyway, you could uh, tilt if you want your character to look a bit more like the mother side or if you want it to look like a bit more like your father side and there's a bunch of different options as well. To get the perfect character, the one character that you really want, the face and all those features like that, you would have to spend a bit of time on this. It's a it's a bit um, unfamiliar at the start because I don't think there's really any other system like this, but it's a bit interesting once to get used to it. So once you do that, you could choose your lifestyle and you could take points out of everything. What I would suggest the most is put most of your stats into a sleep. That actually raises most of your stats the most beneficial way, as opposed to some of the other ones that raise other ones and sort of lower other ones as well. I would sort of aim towards the stats that kind of, you know, increase crucial stats such as driving and shooting and probably stamina as well. I mean, for me, lung capacity, I could do without. I don't really, not planning on diving too much. Strength, stealth, I'm not sure if stealth is going to be used too often. And flying, well, flying's useful as always, but again, I don't know how much I'm going to be using often, but I know driving, shooting, and stamina I'll be using for sure, so I aim for those stats. And I believe those are for sure asleep, uh, doing illegal work, and I believe partying as well. Now, when you choose these stats, it does change your appearance a bit, and it puts you in some clothes, and you can always change those later. It's not too expensive. I mean, you'll eventually get a lot of money on GTA Online, but it does start you off in a certain outfit. I also wanted to mention that allocating these points into the stats, it helps at the beginning, but you will be able to gain more of these skills later on by performing tasks that involve them, which is very similar to single player. After that, you can go to appearance, change your age, which kind of adds more wrinkles and stuff like that to your face, makes you look a bit more weathered. Change your hair, the color, what kind of facial hair you'd like, the hat you're wearing, and also glasses as well. You can then choose a name for your character, which doesn't appear in game, I don't believe. It's just for your own naming purposes. And then the cutscene will start and you'll step foot into the new GTA Online. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy this. As always, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to press that like button and also be sure to subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and other games when they come out. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out. What that shit do, big old pimp you? <laughs> I see you up in this motherfucker now, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, holler at your boy. Man, it's good to finally meet you, man. After all that time on Life Invaders, man, we friends in real life now, huh? Look at you, dude. You 
like smaller than you look in your picture, but oh fuck it, it don't matter. Hey, I heard you wasn't a big talker, right? I said, just probably need to get settled in, got that jet lag, you know? So I got a little gift for you. Welcome to Los Santos. Untraceable. You gotta love that. Who your partner is, pimp? Who your partner is? <laughs> Man, dog, I'm glad you're here, man. It's all kinds of opportunities in Los Santos. I mean, that's if you got the nuts to pull them off. And don't even trip, man. Your boy know people all over the city. Like the boy Hal. He is like hands down the best mechanic in town. Or the other boy Simeon, man. He's literally the best bullshit artist in town. Or we can go fuck with the homie G, or any of the homies from family for that matter. Straight. Matter of fact, we gonna fall through on how right now and see if we can get us a race, you know? You with the business, we can make us a little way. <laughs> Should I with the wizard? Should I with the Go post up right there real quick while I make this call. You're gonna get you a car or something to race in or stare at the back of my shit in. Cause you're gonna eat my dust, punk. <laughs> Shay Shay.
first one. If this is a clothing store, you can rob this place. No wonder. I'm like, what the fuck? Wow, they are. Yes. Yeah. Man, if you don't get off my phone with this bullshit. Why? Man, some people are so clean. Hey, what that shit do? You trying to make some cheese? My boy Gerald G, he looking for somebody low-key right now. And to be 1,000 with you, I'm thinking you. Look, it's a big exchange of merchandise going down. The Vagos and the Ball Eaters and squash their little uh, cultural differences or what the fuck ever. Anyway, why don't you slide down there and see if you can shake up the free market economy a little bit and uh, get that cheese. Hey, I'm gonna text you the boy G address. Don't even trip, he's straight, that's my dog. You know we got you. phone, drone, and all overpriced tablets, it's Digifarm. All the mind-numbing tedium of an agrarian lifestyle combined with the soul-crushing loneliness of the internet in a game... Hey, G, come out here, man. My folks here. What's up, dog? How you doing? Well, goddamn, you anti-social motherfucker. You gonna speak? Hey. See? I told you. Y'all gonna get along great. Y'all can get to take this shit on the road. How your little ventriloquist act going on? Maybe you can stick your hand up his ass. Give him the dough. Yeah. All right, here. It's right. Don't bother counting it. You get anything else interesting, bring it my way. <laughs> yeah, what I tell you, what I tell you, motherfucker, he like you. And now you got you some bread, what you need to do is go get you some motherfucking gear, because you bummy as fuck. You can't be walking around with me looking like that. You need to better representate yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, G, don't get lost, fool. Come on, man, tear that shit off, man. I need my commission, G. You hear me, dawg? I need my commission, nigga. You about a stingy motherfucker, man.
Oh, did they spot you in a stolen vehicle? They had pull you over? Yeah. Well, I'm in on a stolen vehicle too, but. I'm hiding right now. They ain't gonna get me. There's another dude in here called Anti. I'm done. Where? Well, at least you can't walk the kick people in here. That shit gets annoying. You can, I'm pretty sure. Like, you're about to pull out my gun right now? Or what? What? Fuck that shit, we gonna rob this anyway. Give me the fucking money, bro. Give me the fucking money. Hurry up, hurry your bitch ass up, nigga. Hurry your bitch ass up. Hurry up. Money in the bag. Now! 